Hi guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to perform merge operation in binomial heaps. So in some books, this uh, merge operation is also known as union operation. But in some books, it is known as the merge operation. So merging of two binomial heaps and union of two binomial heaps, both are the same thing. In the previous video, we learned what are binomial heaps and I also showed you that how does a node of a binomial heap looks like? Like what is the structure of a node of a binomial heap? And then finally, we talked about how binomial heaps are more efficient than binary heaps and leftist heaps, okay? So in this video, we are going to see the merge operation in uh, binomial heaps. And in the later video, we are going to learn all the other operations. So once we learn the merge operation, understanding the other operations will be very easy for you because those operations involve merge operation, right? In, like operations like insert and delete, they actually involve merge operation. So that is why let us first learn the merge operation in binomial heaps. So we will start off with an example and I will simultaneously write down the steps and in the end, we will calculate the time complexity of this operation. So before we start the merge operation, I want you to know one thing that suppose you are given 13 nodes that you have to make a binomial heap with the help of 13 nodes. Now you don't know that that binomial heap will involve a B0 binomial tree, B3 binomial tree, B4 binomial tree or a B5 binomial tree. So how do you find it out? So for that, write this 13 in the binary format. So uh, what is 13 in binary format? So 13 is equal to 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay, so this is the binary rep representation of 13. Uh, so you can consider this as the 0th place, 1st place, 2nd place and the 3rd place, right? So all those bits that are 1, binomial trees of those orders will be included in your binomial heap. So this 13 node binomial heap will contain a B0 because here uh, 0th bit is 1. It will contain a B2 because the 2nd bit is 1 and it will also contain a B3, right? So if you want to cross check a B0 has 2 raised to 0 nodes as I discussed uh, in my previous video of uh, where I discussed the properties of binomial trees. And this B2 has 2 raised to 2 nodes, right? While this B3 has 2 raised to 3 nodes. So this total will be equal to 13. 8 plus 4, 12 plus 1, 13. So we have also cross-checked. So we can use this method to find out that binomial trees of which order should be included in our binomial heap, okay? So now let's move to the merge operation. So these are the two binomial heaps that I want to merge, right? If, uh, and if you have watched my previous videos, you will know that this is B0, this is B1, and this is B2, because its root has only two children. This is B0, B1, and this is a B3. So we have got these two binomial heaps, and we want to merge them, okay? So first of all, what we do is that, consider this as a linked list of roots. So this thing over here, so this is actually known as a root list, okay? This is a root list. This 12, 7, 15, so the list of all the roots of all the binomial trees is actually known as a root list. So in here also, 18, 3, 6 come in the root list, right? So in our merge operation, we will only be performing operations on this root list of both the binomial heaps, right? We will not go down. We can complete the merge operation by just traversing these root list, the root list of the first binomial heap and the root list of the second binomial heap. So in the first step, what we do is that we actually merge both the root list, okay? So I'll write it down over here. So we merge both the root list. So we will actually get a single binomial heap that will contain two B0, right? Because there are total two B0, we will get two B1 because there is a B1 over here and a B1 over here and we'll get a single B2 and a single B when we merge both the root list, right? Uh, so I'll draw the binomial heap that we will get after merging both these root list. So this is the binomial heap that we will get when we will merge uh, or we will when we'll combine both the root list. So uh, combining both the root list you can consider as merging two sorted linked list because both of these are sorted. First B0 comes, then B1, then B3. This is also sorted 0, 1, 2, right? The order of uh, the binomial trees. So this is a B0 what we have got. Then one B0 from this second binomial heap, one B1 from this binomial heap, one B1 from the second binomial heap, 
a B2 from the first binomial heap and a B3 from the second binomial heap. So this is what we get. So this is the first step. Okay. So now the second step is very intuitive. If you have watched my previous video, you will know that a binomial heap cannot have more than one binomial tree of the same order, right? As you can see over here, we are calling this a binomial heap because the order of the binomial trees are different. B 0, 1, 2, here 0, 1, 3. But here the order of the binomial trees are same, B0, B0. We have got two B0 binomial trees. We have got two B1 binomial trees, right? So that cannot happen in case of a binomial heap. So that means our merge operation is still incomplete. So what we need to do is that we will start from the first binomial tree and then wherever we encounter binomial trees with the same order, there we will merge those two binomial trees, right? Until we reach the end of the root list. So we will start from here at the start of the root list and until we reach over here, we will be combining or merging those binomial trees that have the same order, right? So what is the second step? So what we'll basically be doing, we'll be combining the binomial trees with same order. So we'll have basically 2BK minus 1, right? And when we combine 2BK minus 1 binomial trees, I hope you know that we get a BK binomial tree, right? Uh, because a binomial tree with order k is made up of two binomial trees with order k minus one. I have explained it in the prop when, we, when I explained the properties of binomial trees, right? Uh, so I cannot directly combine these two zero order binomial trees. What I need to check is that am I still maintaining the heap ordering property in each and every binomial heap? So what do I mean by the heap ordering property? That means the minimum element of a particular binomial tree is at the root. So suppose if I combine it in this way, that this 12, I combine this B0, I make it as a child of this B0, right, as the leftmost child, because we make it a, the leftmost child. So what, what will be the problem over here? Here the root will be greater than its descendants. So it won't follow the heap ordering property, which is followed in each and every binomial tree. Here you can see that the root is the minimum, the root is the minimum, the root 6 in this binomial tree is the minimum. So what we need to do is that, we need to check that which of these, uh, that the root of which of these uh, binomial trees is smaller. That will be the new root of our new binomial tree. So in this 12 is smaller. So what we'll do is that we'll make this 18 as the child of 12, right? You got it? So this 18 will be the child of 12, the leftmost child of 12, right? Because that's how we combine two binomial trees, right? So here, this, this will be now a B1. But again, what problem we are facing? So now, again, we have got binomial trees with the same order. And this time, there are not two binomial trees with the same order. In, in fact, there are three binomial trees with the same order, right? So in such a case, what you do is that you go to the last two binomial trees with the same order. So you don't touch this binomial tree. Because uh, when you merge the last two binomial trees, its order will not be equal to this binomial tree, right? So when you merge uh, two B1s, you will get a B2. You will not again get a B1. So you can leave this B1 as it is, right? And you can merge these two binomial trees, these two B1s, right? So before merging these two B1s, let me give you a better understanding of how this merging actually takes place, right? So in the previous video, uh, I actually talked about the structure of a node in a binomial tree, right? So when I draw these four nodes, these two B1s, according to the structure, this is how they look like, right? As I mentioned earlier, this is actually the pointer to the parent. So 25's parent is 7 over here. So it is pointing to 7. And this is actually degree, right? Degree of a node. Degree means the number of children it has. So 7 over here has one child, 25. So here I've written the number of children, 1. Okay, and this actually, uh, this over here is a pointer to the leftmost child, right? This is a pointer, so 7 is pointing to its leftmost child, 25. And this one is actually a pointer to the immediate right sibling. So I've explained this in the previous video. You can go and watch it over there. So this is what we get, right? So now we need to merge these two B1s, right? We want to merge this B1 and this B1. These, these are two B1s. So how we'll merge them? So to merge them, as I told earlier, we have to merge them according to the heap ordering property, right? So the root of that binomial tree 
which is smaller will actually be the root of the merged binomial tree, right? So, which one is smaller over here? The root of, uh, the root of this binomial tree or the root of this binomial tree? The root of this B1 or the root of this B1? This one is smaller because the root of this B1 is 3 and the root of this B1 is 7. So, whichever root is smaller, let us consider that root as Z. So, Z is basically the root of root of B1 and in this case, Y is actually root of B2. Let us consider this as Y and this as Z, okay? So now, I just can't directly make this root as the child of this root. I also have to change the other pointers, right? So how I'm going to do that? So just pay attention over here. You need to follow these steps in order. So if Z is less than Y, right? That means my Z is going to be the root of the merged. So in this case, Z is going to be root of merged binomial heap, right? Parent of Y is equal to Z, okay? This will be the first step. That means my y is the binomial heap which has a larger root. So it cannot be the root of the merged heap because it will violate the heap ordering property. So the parent of this binomial heap or the, the parent of the root of this binomial heap will be, so initially it has null parent because it here it had no parent, right? But over here its parent will change from null to one, right? So this is my first step, correct? Now, let us look at the second step. What else we can do in order to combine these two properly? So when I actually make this root of this binomial heap as the child of this root of this binomial heap, so it will come one level down, right? This root will come one level down. So let me draw it. So this seven, that was the root of one B1. So that was the root of this B1, right? This B1, it came one level down. So in the second step, what we can do is that this uh, part is actually this part actually denotes a pointer to the immediate right sibling so the pointer to the immediate right sibling of 7 will be actually 37 right so because my, when my 7 will come over here at that time 37 will be its immediate right sibling right so this will be our second step that instead of null we will make this as the immediate right sibling so let me write it down so what we will do we will make the sibling of y as z, no, child of z. This 37 is the child of z, right? And what is z? z is the root of that binomial tree that actually has a smaller root as compared to the both the binomial trees that we are merging equal to child of z. Okay, now what else is left? Now is this complete? Look, what does this point to, this part? It actually points to, as I explained in the structure of a node, it points to the leftmost child. Now is 37 the leftmost child of 3 or 7 the leftmost child of 3? 7 is the new leftmost child. So this will be our third step, right? Where this thing rather than pointing over here, it will point at 7, right? The, left, the new leftmost child is 7. So what we have to do? child of z because there is a pointer to only one child that is the leftmost child so we can write it as child of z is equal to y right this was this is actually the root of that binomial heap that had a larger root right why what what is y it was the root of that binomial heap that had a larger root now what what is left now are we done or is any other step left there is another step left if you notice the degree of 3 is 1 but how many children does it have? One more children than what it earlier had. So this degree has to be changed to two and this will be our fourth step. So degree of what changes? Degree of that uh, root changes, which has become our new root, right? So and that root is Z. It increases by one because it has got a new child in the form of Y, right? So these are our four steps that we need to follow when we are merging two binomial trees of the same order right when we are performing the merge operation and until when we have to combine two trees of the same order until end of root list right we have to do this right we have to do this thing until end of root list uh, until end of root list we have to perform this step this second step right so now after i merge these two b1s earlier there were two b1s so i get a b2 right so after I have merged these two B1s, I get this new B2, right? Because two B1s make a B2. This is what I did, right? 
So now, because you, you cannot have two binomial trees with the same order, again you need to merge these two. So what they'll make? These two will actually make a B3. Uh, let me follow the same steps. First I need to identify what will be my Y and what will be my Z. Z was actually the root, the smaller root, right? Z was the smaller root. So which is smaller in this case, which is the smaller root? The root of this B2 is smaller, right? So this will be my Z and this will be my Y. So this will be the root of the merged binomial tree. So now let us merge these. So three will be the root of the merged binomial heap because it is it has a lesser value and we have to follow the heap ordering property. And let me draw this complete binomial tree. In the first step, what we will do? In the first step, we will make the parent of y, we will make the parent of y as z. So y is 15. So let us make the parent of y as z, right? This is my z and this is my y. Because the root has come over here, so all its descendants will also come over here. So we can write it, we can write all its descendants. Right, so what is the second step? In the second step, we make the sibling of y as the child of z, as the leftmost child of z, right? We make the child of z as the sibling of y, right? What is the third step? We make the child of z as y. So obviously z will also point over here through, the, uh, z will also point over here through this pointer, right? And in the last step, we will increase the degree of z. So that will happen internally or we will increase the degree of 3 because it has got another child in the form of 15, right? Okay. So what is this? This is a B3. If you can see the root of this binomial tree has three children, so it is a B3. What about this? This was originally a B3 over here. So we cannot have two binomial trees with the same order, right? So what, what we need to do? Again merge them or combine them. So when we combine them, the root of which one is smaller? Uh, the root of this one or this one? The root of this binomial tree is smaller, it is 3, while uh, the root of this one is 6. So this will be our Z, right? And this will be our Y. So which will be the root of our merged binomial heap? Or you can call it as B3 to B3 makes a B4. So which one of these will be the root of our merged binomial heap B4? Which one is the root? Every time Z is the root or the smaller root is the root of the merged binomial heap, right? So three will be the root. But one more thing that this six, which was over here, Will it be the rightmost child or the leftmost child? As we learnt earlier, that the root of 1bk-1 is actually the leftmost child of the root of other bk-1. You have al already learned this, that when this is, if suppose this is my bk-1, so my another bk-1 will always be the leftmost child, right? Right? So this is my complete bk, correct? So that is why this, uh, this 6, will be at the leftmost child of 3. So let me draw it. So finally, this will be the B4 that I'll get by combining the pre previous B two B3s, by combining the previous two binomial heaps with order 3. So this is a B4 that I get, and this is a B1. Do I still have two binomial trees of the same order in this binomial heap? There is one of order 1 and another one of order 4. So my job is done. So as you can see, the end result that we got was a binomial heap that was actually a merged form of this binomial heap and this binomial heap, right? So we have to do this until we reach the end of the list. So actually we were carrying some pointers to avoid confusion, I didn't make those pointers. They were actually checking at each and every point that uh, are these two binomial heaps of the same order. If they found two binomial heaps of the same order, then the then this function was called, then this function was called and both those binomial heaps were combined. So in this way, those pointers were actually moving forward. And right now, those pointers are actually somewhere over here and they can see, okay, these two binomial heaps are not of the same order, so they can move forward. But when they move forward, the root list has ended, right? So this was all in the merge operation, right? Now, let us try to find out the time complexity, okay? So before finding out the time complexity, I want you to know, so the maximum number of roots in, a, in any binomial heap is actually floor of log n plus 1, where n is the number of nodes in the binomial heap. 
So now what will be the time complexity for this merge operation? So in the first step, what did we do? We merged both the list. We just joined both these lists, right? But for that, we needed to traverse both these root lists, right? Let us consider that this uh, binomial heap has n1 nodes and this binomial heap had n2 nodes, right? So in order to combine both the root list or merge both the root list. So in the first step, we actually needed the time complexity of the order of the length of the root list. And what is the length of the root list? Length of the root list is actually equal to the number of roots in my binomial heap. But what is the maximum number of roots in any binomial heap? It is floor of log n plus one, right? So in order to traverse this root list for the in the first first step, I'll require the maximum length, whichever root list has the maximum length, that much time complexity I'll require, right? We'll write it in this way, right? So this much time complexity I'll require. Then in the second step, what I'm doing is that I finally get that merged root list, right? The one which has three plus three, six roots. And then I'm checking at each and every root that am I having two binomial trees with the same order? If I'm having them, I'm doing this. So if I'm having such a condition of two binomial trees with the same order, I'm actually doing this. So what is the time complexity of this? In this, what we are doing? We are just changing the pointers. We are doing nothing else. So how much does, will this take? It will take order of one time or constant amount of time. But maximum, how many times can I do it? So maximum number of times I can do this will be equal to the length of the root list or number of roots that I have in my root list, in my merged root list, right? Not the root list of this or this, but the root list that I get of six nodes, three plus three. So that is actually equal to one in two floor of log n1 because I'm traversing the entire root list, this root list, 12, 7, 15 and 18, 3, 6 plus one plus floor of log n2 plus one, right? So if you look at this, this is also order of log n and this is also order of log n, right? So what is my time complexity of the merge operation? It is order of log n where I can consider n is actually equal to maximum of n1 comma n2 or it is actually the number of nodes uh, of that binomial heap that has the maximum number of nodes, right? So my time complexity for the merge operation comes out to be order of log n. That is why it is be better than the binary heap that actually gives a time complexity of order of n log n when we are trying to merge two binary heaps, right? So in the next video, we will learn different operations like insert, delete, extract minimum, find minimum, delete minimum, decrease a key. All these operations we will learn in the next video and it will be very easy because now we know the merge operation and this merge operation will be used in those operations. So see you in the next video where we will learn the rest of the operations in binomial heaps. That's all.